friends out of high school? Well, <laughs> it's kind of quiet for me, you know. I was just uh, more or less uh, going to school, uh, seeing my friends. Uh, it was it was good times for me. I had a good time, you know, at Dunbar High School. You know, basically, I think it you know prepared me for the world, really. Yeah. What specific things like about Dunbar prepared you for after you graduated from there? Well, number one, you know, you had to be okay. assertive when you you had to uh, get your lesson. Number one, you know, you couldn't skate. Of course, uh, the teacher wouldn't let you do that. And the fact is that as far as the teachers uh, preparing you for the world, you know, telling you different things about how to, uh, you know, do this, how to prepare yourself for this, this happened, you know, so forth and so on. A lot of little tidbits, you know. And it was a personal thing at Dunbar, you know, teacher might take hold of you and, you know, like you and, uh, you know, and uh, nurse, like, for instance, before, I, I didn't really think about going to college until somebody got me and said, hey, Dorsey, what are you going to do? So I don't know. You know, after I graduated, they said, what about going to college? I said, well, I said, well, if I get you an uh, application, you know, and you fill it out, and, uh, you know, I'm sure that you'll get accepted because I know you got pretty good grades, you know. So I did that, and I got accepted at uh, Tennessee A&I State University. And I went down there for approximately three years. I was the uh, manager on the baseball team, which I got a chance to travel to do different colleges. Uh, been gone for about a month. That was good, good way. And uh, basically, uh, after that, you know, I dropped out of school and I joined the Marine Corps and I went to Vietnam. I started in Vietnam for 13 months. I was a machine gunner. And we were all, in, you know, we, uh, I did that for about 13 months. And I came back home to Texarkana. There wasn't too much going on around there, so I stayed around there for about uh, six months. Went to back up to Fort Worth and messed around with Joan Dynamics. So of course, the way the system worked, last in, first out. So they were laying off, so I got laid off first. And I piddled around for a bit and thought about it, so I decided I'd go back in the military, which I did, and I spent a total of 25 years uh, in the Air Force, three years in the Marine Corps, and uh, you know I was it was great because I got an opportunity to travel around the world, do different things, meet different people, experience different cultures, eat different food. It was just great. You know, I guess the highlight of my whole life, uh, my travels would be when I went to China. You know, because I had heard so much negativism about China, you know, they don't, you know, this and that. But when I went to China, it was entirely different. The people were friendly. It was just like any other place, you know. The, the ladies was pushing their babies in the buggies, and people were going to work. People playing the park, you know, elderly was out exercising. So it's civilized, you know, but... You might get the, you know, you might get the impression from some of the news that it's not, but it's it's just a nice place to be. And the food, fantastic. I found out that the Chinese food in America is fast food. They don't know, believe me, until you go. Because I went over there with the idea I wasn't gonna eat nothing but salads, because I'm not a lover of Chinese food, to be honest with you. But when I went over there, the food was fantastic. That's about it, you know. I'm retired. Been retired ever since 2002. All I do is just travel. So, just everywhere. I might stay home three months, and and my wife, I pull out, and she's gone again. But that's it.
That's my story, short, sweet. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Is there anything else you want to share with us? Well, just uh, basically, I, I feel like uh, it's a great uh, opportunity for everyone to have been here for our 50th, to see people that we grew up with and we hadn't seen in a long, long time, like this guy you just interviewed. I hadn't seen him since 1962. So that's the advantage of these reunions, how it gives you the opportunity to reconnect with people that you used to, you knew back in high school or you were a friend with, you know, and that's it.